Hey, Frank Paris here. Uh, talking about the unboxing, okay? Something you're going to have to do when you receive your 5.5-inch uh, scale model of the 1960 movie, The Time Machine scale model with Tantalus box. Okay, let's get this camera off here. Phone camera. So the box is going to come like this, okay? And we want to do the unboxing as slowly as possible, okay? Because everything inside of this box has been packed to the point where you almost can drop it off a building, 10-story building, and nothing would break. So it's going to take a little time to do this. Now, I boxed up one of these guys, and now I'm unboxing it. So I can show you how you're going to take out your time machine once you get it from me. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're opening up the box. And of course we have some packing material. I'm going to step out of camera range for a second. Okay, I'm back. And we're going to just take, oh, got a garbage can here. We can use that. I'm going to take some wrapping in here like that. Okay, and we've got some popcorn. some popcorn over here. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Popcorn. And uh, I want to do this as expeditiously as possible, but at the same time I do not want to uh, break the uh, break the unit or the box or anything. So I'm just pulling out some of this popcorn. I put a little bit too much in here. But I don't want the cat to get it. It'll fall on the floor and the cat will start eating it or playing with it. So we'll just get it out real quick so you can see what we have in here actually. So just give me a few seconds should be done. Now there's some popcorn still left, but and some on the floor that I want to expedite this. So basically we're gonna just there's a large bubble wrap on top of the, the unit. And what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna lift the unit out like so. Know, it's not gonna work. We'll just reach in and grab out the box. The tent of the box. Hold on. And there we, we got the tantalus box. I'm going to move the box out of the way. Okay. Again, some excess popcorn is falling on the floor, but who cares? Okay. So now this is the way it's going to come out. Like so. The tantalus box. And the time machine inside is also wrapped, okay? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to tear off gently this plastic wrap, like so. All right. And that's just to keep the box, canvas box, closed, which is what we've done in transport. Okay. Some more of this tantalus box paper off, plastic off. Like so, okay. Alrighty. Now, now for the great reveal of the time machine. Well, you're not going to see it right away because basically that is also wrapped up, okay? But we'll just gently pull out the box that it's in. Okay, this is your tantalus box. Alrighty. This is your tantalus box. We're just going to close that for a little bit of time while we take the tantalus box out of the way. We will place this on the floor here. Okay, so now we have this unit here. Now I'm going to go get my, my cutter. I'm going to go off the camera for a second. My cutter. And I'm going to sit down for the rest of this, but I may not be using the cutter. 
okay? Because I don't want to break, I don't want to accidentally cut into what we have. So we're gently going to take off the wrapping. This is bubble wrap, as you can well see. And the time machine is encased, well, let that go. The time machine is encased in saran wrap and a piece of cardboard. Okay, so it's totally covered with those, those pieces, all right? Now, the dish is also on the front. So we're going to just cut above the, the dish, just like so, so we can pull it off from the scotch tape. We'll just get that a little bit more. You want to be very careful when you're cutting. All right, you don't want to cut into anything. All right, and so again, we're going to turn from the side. There's a little scotch tape that holds and a little bit of, of the plastic saran wrap holding it. Okay, like so. And that's the dish. And we're just going to pull it off. We're going to lay the dish on the side. Also, the little box that holds the crystal is in there also. All right, now, again, we're going to do this manually. We're going to just pull off this saran wrapper manually, very gently. Okay, and the reason we want to do that is because we don't want to disturb the time machine. Okay, at this point, just very gently, we're going to take off the plastic saran wrap. Okay, I wrap this up just to do the unwrapping for you guys. Okay. So your time machine is slowly being revealed. Patience is golden when you're unwrapping your time machine. Right. So we'll just gently just loosen up this saran wrap, okay, like so, and like so. So we're just actually just pulling it off, and there we go. We'll throw that in the box. I know it looks like a mess here, but we, I like messes when it comes to the time machine. I like taking my time unraveling it on doing it. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to take your time when you get your unit. All right. So we have a piece of cardboard here. Okay. And this cardboard is is scotch taped to the bottom. So we're going to just cut, just do a little cutting here. Okay. Which will just lift up the box. You can see that the time machine, believe it or not, is wrapped even more. So again, we're not going to use the cutter this time. I'm going to just gently pull off the cut, the uh, the, ta the um, plastic saran wrap. And actually, I like to do this just to gently pull it off without, without having to use the cutter because I don't want to go anywhere near the time machine since I know how, to, how I wrapped it. Okay, and you'll figure out how I wrapped it, but I know how it's wrapped, so I know how to pull it off. Again, we'll get rid of the refuse. So we have one more piece here that we got to take off to, to almost release the time machine. I'm going to take the cutter, and I'm just going to cut a little bit here, and I'm going to protect it with my fingers, just like so. All right, so that's off. Now we have a piece of wire. This is a metal piece of wire that's twisted so that the base of the time machine doesn't move in transport. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it off like so. You can see me doing this. And let me just turn it around because it's easier for me to see off, uh, away from the camera. So we'll just get this right off. I'm just untwisting it. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Now we'll get that all untwisted. Give me a few secs. Seconds. All right. Almost done. Almost done. It's a little process here. Now, I could have cut this, but I didn't want to cut it. I just decided not to. See, now we've, we've unraveled this, uh, this uh, 
piece of metal. I'm just going to slide it out from underneath the base. It's holding the base, and now I can lift the tie machine out like so. Okay? Just like that. We'll take the dish, because we're going to need that in a second. We'll take this away. And what we have now is the tie machine and the little box with the crystal switch. So we're just going to open this up. We'll just tear it apart, I guess, from one of the ends here. Like so. Just pull it apart. That's it. There's a little box with the crystal in it that activates the time machine. Okay. And we're going to get our dish. Like so. And we're going to pull that out too. Now there's a way to put this dish on. Just so you know. There's a way to put this dish on. Which makes it. Um, it makes it. Um easier to put on and so that the dish doesn't wobble when it spins. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We're going to take the dish and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and I just kind of put it on but I want it I want it flush with the back here. Can you see this being flush? So that's flush and that's on there now. You don't have to take that anymore or take it off anymore even if you're transporting it. You know, I'll show you a little case um, if I can, which shows that the the uh, you can put it in, or you can buy a little box, a little file cabinet box. Okay, and so now we're going to get our little crystal out. It's in this little box. Okay, so we'll take our crystal out. Okay, I'll put the slide back on the box, and we're going to turn the we're going to take the uh, crystal switch, and we're going to put it on the time machine. And you can see that it is on the time machine here, right here. All right. Now I'm going to flip my switch on. There is a switch in the back. I can flip my switch on. And that's going to turn on the time machine. So now when I flip this switch up, the time machine should be on. And there you see. Now it's, a little, it's wobbling a little bit. Can you see that wobble? See that wobble? I'm going to get that wobble out. So I'm going to turn it off. I didn't put it on there flush. So I'm just going to get that on there flush. Hold on one second. See if we can get that on just right. Okay. Hold on. We'll get that on there just right. That's not right yet. We'll get it. Okay, let's see. I don't have it right. Just get it on. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Takes a little bit of uh, fidgeting to do this right. Yeah, that's not right, so we'll just push it in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. A second here. It's just a little bit. Well, this is unusual. We just, uh, yeah, I think I got it now. There we go. I didn't put it on right. <laughs> so just try to keep it flush with the back and then you're okay. All right, so we just hit the switch again. All right, and you can see how the time machine works. With the little lights. Okay, there you go. And that's your little time machine. And the motor is totally silent. So we've taken it out of the box, we've gotten off all of the packing and everything else. We've put the dish on in such a way that uh, it's flush with the back. Okay, and you can see that. All right. Now, Okay, there's a little on off switch back here. You gotta make sure you turn it off or else you'll drain the battery. So we're gonna turn off that little switch. Get that off like so. And now the dish is gonna stop. And I'm gonna flip this dish back, this switch back too, like so. Okay, 
so that everything is now totally off. All right, switch off gently, switch off gently, and now your unit is ready to put on display in the Tandless box. Uh, let me just make one little, small little note, okay? You want to be careful because on the bottom of this is your wiring. So be very careful with the wiring. And there's a battery. It's a 12-volt battery, a small little battery, okay? You can always replace those with batteries from Amazon. And that little battery is 12 volts, and that's what makes the dish spin. And, uh, again, the electronics is pretty secure, but you don't want to kind of futz around with this stuff on the bottom. And when you put it in your tanless box, let's get the tanless box going here. I'll pick up the time machine. What I like to do with mine is I open up the tanless box like so. I take my time machine, pick it up gently by the rails, gently by the rails, leave it in the box. Okay. And I would take my little box, which doesn't have the crystal in it now. I put my crystal in there. Let's just turn this around this way. I kind of like mine this way. Now you can leave this box open or closed for display. Obviously, if you keep it closed, it won't get dusty. If you do get it dusty, what you should do is kind of get a, an air blast, you know, that you use for cleaning your keyboard. Don't hold it close. Hold it far away and just blow off any excess dust that might be, or a feather dust, maybe gently on the dish, okay? But other than that, you really shouldn't go crazy and touch things that, uh, that uh, you shouldn't be touching, all right? And that's it, basically it. Okay, you close up the box. The time machine is secure, and I can open it up and show people or I can leave it open, uh, you know, you can leave it like this if you like. You know, the top is pretty stable, it's not going to fall over. Just make sure you got it all the way back when you do it. And that's it. Frank Paris, over and out. Thanks for watching.